right back to it. And we just saw on the Facebook page that uh, our next uh, Super Evolution is going to be Boltwing. I also noticed Mocha your comment, so yep, that's uh, that's kind of exciting. Be interesting to see what the burb is going to look like. Because it does feel like uh, it's going through that trend of four stars at the moment. Being selected. And then it's also nice too, um, besides um, mm, I think is it do we have yeah, Brad is. Who do we got? So no, we can't get both of them in here. So uh, actively trying to pursue this one is uh, a little interesting. Cottony. I don't remember. I think you can only get light Cottony through eggs, which is a little unfortunate. But, you know, at least it's uh, this time around, too. It's an Astromon that's got a fusion that's going to happen, and you don't have to wait around for... Um, specifically, you know, again, I talked about it yesterday in my rant, but um, spending $45 to, you know, obtain a light or a dark, um, you can still go out and even during the capture festivals, you can go out and actively um, capture um, uh, Boltwing. So, um, while we're in here, let's just prime up another one. Jump and grab these. Because Boltwing is one of those uh, Astromon uh, that, unfortunately, I think, and again, this is my opinion on it, uh, it'll be, it'll kind of be an Astromon that we won't necessarily see too much use out of uh, on, on a lot of things. Just because there's other four stars that are much more manageable to get that you can... Um, that just kind of replace Boltwing. Um, let's see. I'll double check out of my four-star inventory. I actually just used all my Boltwings, it looks like. That's a unfortunate, but again, you will, you if as long as you're out farming again for this next capture festival too, and and so on and so forth, you'll you'll definitely be getting uh, your fair share of them. So, um, we got three. Oh, we're good on there. So. Um, let's double check one thing here. All the way at the bottom, because I want to see. Again, I'm pretty sure with Cottony. Oh, that's details. I want Habitat. Yeah, you can only summon Cottony, so that's a little unfortunate. Now, um, to kind of circle back to, um... Boltwing. I mean, we do see a uh, wood Boltwing in uh, Arena uh, a lot, and it can sometimes be a little bit of a uh, a pain in the butt to fight, but uh, it does go down pretty pretty easily. And again, that's that's just just again speculation. Looking at it, um, there's just so many other Astromon that you can replace, you know, abilities on. Um, it kind of comes down to the same thing with all cap, even capture festival monsters. There, some of them are nice to just capture, get the astro guide, say, "Hey, I got it." Get your light and your dark, because again, those are, those are something you can't actively, you know, obtain. And that's what I do: put them in my storage and kind of move on at that point. Um, just because, again, there are just other astromon that do, do it better, so to speak. Um, but that's again not saying that if you don't have again it, sometimes it's nice to just have those astromon again in your in your party um, over others uh, and again you have to work with what you get so if you have bolt wing and you can super evolve them you know that's definitely um, that'll be definitely a plus to your team but again there are I think there are more astromon that are uh, actually obtainable that you can get that would be um, better in this, some of these circumstances. And unfortunately, even some three stars uh, fit that bill, so. Let's get 
through these. But nonetheless, it's another super evolution. So again, I'm curious to see how they do kind of their first uh, non-humanoid uh, super evolution, I believe. So this will be one of the first creatures we get. Remember right too, even it's scripted to let you capture at least one bolt wing uh, when you first start up. When you get to the Mirage Ruins, one shows up for you. Getting the poker chip. There we go. I don't remember what PvP we had still from yesterday. shall see. Alright. There's a couple of these I want to go after for fun. This one shouldn't be too, too difficult. Now I say that, but Light Victoria. This is kind of a, a road, like just a speed bump. Still tanky, depending on how they have them gem, but the fire uh, Fenrir is a little bit scary. And then we got two super evolved Monas, which, of course, we're going to go after that one first. We'll finish her off here with this one, see what pops out. There's fire Drakkar, so <laughs> just stun and try and kill that one, which we didn't get. So hopefully this, nope, a little bit more tanky. We didn't get any crits off, so... How, hold on, how is this one still alive? How did you live? <laughs> oh man, let's see what these two do. What would have made this team scary? Um, if I could give any advice on that team, because that's not a bad team. Uh, two attackers and kind of two tanks up front with uh, your hidden Drakkar. What would have made that team scary is if he uh, he or she had uh, fire their fire Victoria up front. Instead of using light Victoria, if you used fire Victoria here, that would scare a lot of people because you're, you're going to be put into that uh, situation of, okay, if I go after and I do what I do, right, and attack probably the dark, uh, the dark Mona there, um, you're left with a taunt with a you just you're leaving so much and then you have the threat of the the fire fenrir so if i could say that team to make that team scary put uh fire victoria in that and 100 percent that changes that whole dynamic um just like again like looking at this i'm not scared of this light uh light succubus and i'm, I'm not scared of um i believe this is a nightmare who's this can't click on it um, but this one, like these two, I'm not scared of at all. It's these two, 100% that scare me for this team. And I wouldn't, I actually am just not willing to go after it. 
kind of looking down here, I'd still fight this team because even though it has a Fire Victoria, these three Astromon are kind of meh in this composition. Um, and then again, three meta, you know, technically four meta right here from this guy. So um, that was that's kind of interesting. Uh, we're still only at 70, still need to get higher up in the, in the tower. I had to stop the other day. I got my Holy Gleam out of that, so I don't have to worry necessarily about going any higher, but still getting the uh, egg and the five stars, 100% what you need to do. But there's the dailies done. So once again, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I will see you in tomorrow's daily.